As usual with me, it is very early in the morning. You see, I am making my way west for another bucket list item for me to check off in my life that I've always wanted to do. Welcome to Palm Springs, California, or the gateway for me for King of the Hammers 2023. Welcome to absolutely drop dead gorgeous Palm Springs, California. The weather here is absolutely beautiful, warm, comfortable. I'm in short sleeve shirts. It is fantastic. But it cracks me up that just a mere few miles out of town here, snow on the mountains. It's crazy. But nevertheless, the drive out here to Johnson Valley, California, beautiful. These mountain passes, well, we don't have anything like that from where I'm at in Texas. Everything is absolutely flat. And a very early and a very, very cold good morning, everyone. Here at Hammertown, USA, it's race day. Uh, it is about 4.50 in the morning. And of course, through the power of iPhone, it looks like it's kind of daylight, but it's really not. And you can see the mountains in the background. Uh, believe it or not, guys, even at 5 a.m., uh, now you can't see it because of how the light is, but there's actually people already up on the mountain uh, back there at Chocolate Thunder, at the trail Chocolate Thunder. <laughs> anyway, we're getting the rigs all loaded up. This is the quietest you'll ever see it here, I can promise you, but, but they've been going all night long. Fireworks, trucks, side-by-sides racing up and down the dunes out there. Jeez, man. Anyways, we're getting all loaded up here. We are fixing to head out. Actually, uh, we're gonna be running what they call pit two today for Jesse and Andrew for their, for their race today. So we're gonna have to leave out pretty darn early so we can try to get us a pretty you know optimal spot for the pits. Um, most of the pit crews leave out super, super early to start battling for their space basically. But anyways, where we're going to go is actually way down and then we're gonna go over on the backside the backside of this mountain. It's an all day race. It starts at uh, 8 a.m. and and uh, they have until six to complete it. But anyway, that's it. We're here at Hammertown, USA. It's race day, guys. We are gonna load up, finish getting everything loaded up and head out to the pit. So welcome to pit two, King of the Hammers. Uh, we got our pit set up right here. <clears throat> the trucks will actually be coming in from this end, coming this way. It's a one way pit lane, 25 miles an hour maximum. Anyway, we've got our tent, our mat set up, everything like that. Our fueler right here, Mr. Aaron, getting suited up. You have to wear full on blown, completely suited up to be a fuel man. Nobody's allowed to touch the truck or be on the mat while Aaron is fueling the truck. Once he gets done and steps off the mat, we're good to go. Anyway, all the teams are getting out here, getting their pits set up. Race marshals over here. Uh, the first truck is already off the line. Three, so it'll be a little bit before we see anybody come through, but. Welcome to pit two. It's really nice and calm right now. It will get absolutely chaotic as the day goes on. As you can see, everybody's getting set up, getting their mats, driver uh, crew meetings going on with all the teams. And we just did a crew meeting just designating everybody's job. So we'll know exactly what to do when they come in if the need bees. But eventually they will be coming around the mountain way out there. So there it is right now, the calm before the storm, King of the Hammers 2023.
So I'm just going to talk through this as you see what's going on here. Andrew's coming into the pits. Our pit boss here has put the cone on the front of the truck. And uh, of course he is on top of things making sure that he's just keeping an eye on the crew here. Making sure that everything's going smoothly. And you know we get some uh, hydration here to Andrew. I mean it's, it's dusty out there guys. And they need to stay hydrated as well as can be. As you can see we've already got the tire off the back. Um, we got the tire crew back here. We had rehearsed this over and over and over in our minds already and we had talked about it and discussed everything we were going to do. The tire is already up on the back here as you can see and we have already actually got it strapped down. All we're doing here is uh, getting, the, getting the strap uh, fully tightened down. Now these guys right here, uh, that's Sean, he's crew chief. All we're doing here is they're looking underneath the car for um, all the, uh, it's called torque stripes. Uh, everything has a paint line on it so that you can tell if the bolts come loose. But anyways, uh, Andrew's got his gloves back on. Everything is clear. Hands up. And away he goes out of the pits just like that. So this is what organized chaos looks like. Believe it or not, every one of them has a job. They know what they're doing. I give a really big class to this guy right here. The first thing he said was <clears throat> thank you to his crew. They were doing a great, fantastic job, and he is just calm, cool, and collective sitting in there. That's that's professionalism right there. Anyway, we're gonna we're gonna let them be. They don't want nobody sitting there watching them. So anyway, we'll move on. <laughs> We're fixing to be doing a what they call a basket change. So he's already used the spare. I'm gonna take his old one off, put a new one in for him. We're gonna have to change a broken axle shaft, uh, driver's rear. So I'm gonna have to switch the camera over to somebody else, obviously, because it's gonna be organized chaos in our pit. But anyway, this this is what professionalism looks like, actually. That much love. A couple of uh, marine uh, helicopters here flying over, checking us out. They're uh, from the Marine Corps Logistics Base over here near Barstow, California. But uh, anyway, they checked us out, no problems. They're having a good time too. But uh, we got the axle changed on Jesse's rig, got him all fixed up, and he was out running strong. Thank the Lord. Copy. Jesse's rig was doing absolutely great, so there was no reason to hold him up anymore. He made his pass right through here and headed right back up the mountain, uh, running absolutely fantastic. So once uh, Jesse or Andrew exited the pits, there's a lot of downtime. It gets real quiet. Uh, things settle down. So I thought it was very important that we just go over all the details, what we did, what we thought might have went wrong, what we may have done better, changes that we may make, uh, you know, to just make everything go faster. I'm a real big stickler for details. And I just thought it was very important for each individual to have their own job so that, you know, we just knew what, exactly what we were going to do when they came in and everything went fan. Fantastic.
Well, our day is uh, pretty much done. Andrew's out, unfortunately. Uh, broke a transfer case, uh, drive shaft. Uh, so he's stuck out on the trail. We can't go get him until, you know, the official race is called because you're not allowed out on the trails, you know, until the race is over, actually. So it's going to be a late night of recovering him. Uh, we're just waiting on Jesse to come through one more time. He's got a flatten the basket as it's called which is just a spare tire up on the back of the truck they had to change the flat out on the trail so he puts the flat back up on the truck which is in the basket and then he'll roll in there and we'll put him a new tire in the basket basically check the truck over he's not going to take fuel or anything like that and hopefully no more repairs after the axle deal but uh anyway that's it um it's kind of starting to clear out now some of the trucks are already done some of them are, are out completely so the crews are all leaving out now so it's starting to thin out a little bit but anyway we're just hanging out waiting on jesse to come back in and get him fixed up and then we'll roll up the pit and we'll head on back also so we can uh start trying to make arrangements to get andrew out tonight so that's it for us um king of the hammers race was uh phenomenal uh <laughs> i'm i'm super thankful i got to be part of this crew uh jesse and andrew man thank y'all so much uh it was it was an honor and uh I, I i will do it again no doubt about it so that's it for us for our race tomorrow is basically the pros uh so it'll be a spectator day for us we'll be able to go out and hang out on the trail and chill and watch the guys with big sponsorships and unlimited budgets race so till next time um we'll see you guys later so now the race is on for us we have to get the pit completely cleaned up loaded up and the race is on to get back to hammertown so that we can catch jesse before he crosses the finish line now you got to remember he's out there running flat wide open right now and well we're just having to be a little bit cautious here but everything has to be packed up everything that's carried in gets carried out tread lightly leave absolutely no footprints out there in the desert once we're gone but fortunately for us we actually managed to beat Jesse back to the finish line. <laughs> How about that? There he is. I'm so proud to have been a part of that. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Just gonna go up there and hand it you know, to them. I don't know where. <laughs> right over here, no fault of the Nittos. I mean, they worked phenomenal. Every flat I got, unfortunately, was my fault. 100%. So. <laughs> you, you want to take this? You want to interview? No, I will give this to you. You just ran a great race today, sir. Talk to me about who you'd like to thank. Uh, I have to personally thank my wife. Uh, without her support, encouragement, um, I'm sure there's a lot of other words to describe it, but without her, <laughs> couldn't do this. So, thank uh, you, babe. Yeah. <laughs> Jesse! All my friends, family, I mean, everybody here who's out here supporting me, we could not we could not do this without you. Um, probably the man of the hour here in the right seat, my co-driver, Dan English. Woo! Woo! Well, it work today with the winch, so, uh, well, it was a... It wasn't the race we wanted, but it's a finish. Uh, I'd like to thank my, my sponsors, ADS, uh, the MRB internal bypass shocks were phenomenal out there. We passed a lot of cars. Unfortunately, we couldn't 
put it all together to come in in the daylight, but um, got us across the finish line, kept us safe. The middle tires held up, held up great, uh, despite what you see here. That's actually a fluke. Um, 100% on me. Uh, who else? Uh, Yukon gear and axle, the axle still running strong. We found the limits of what a 14 bolt can do, so I'd be getting you up for something else. Uh, I'm sure there's a ton of other people, but you know, again, thank you, Joel, my wife, my co driver, my friends, my family. We could not do this without you. Yeah! Great day. Great day of racing. Great day of racing. So, there it is. Across the finish line. Done over with. Very, very proud of him. Thank you, Jesse.